behalf of the military science department, I would like to welcome you to the 2011 Indiana University of Pennsylvania United States Army Reserve Officers Training Corps Summer Commissioning Ceremony. Please join me in welcoming our soon to be the two newest officers in the United States. Uh, Dr. Warner, um, faculty members, staff members, thank you very much for inviting me today, having me here today, and also congratulations to you and your fine faculty and staff for continuing the fine tradition of academic excellence um, here today. Uh, Brooke, uh, to you and your staff and faculty down at the ROTC department, good old Pierce Hall, you understand and all of you in uniform understand the importance of what you do for our army and by extension to our nation. So thanks for what you do. The real reason why I came down off the stage though is for you folks right here. Um, I came here today because I'm an army brigadier general. Um, I want to talk to you as not only a brigadier general but I also want to talk to you about a parent as a parent of, of two children that are currently serving um, in our army. Um, the accomplishments that your son and daughter are and have achieved don't just happen. Uh, they happen because of your nurturing, your guidance, um, and frankly, your support over the course of, of their college career, and it started much sooner than that. Uh, being an officer in the United States Army takes on a great deal of responsibility, and that didn't just happen in their lives. It is testimony uh, to the amount of effort, your diligence, um, and your direction over the years. So thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, would you please join me in the I'm going to leave you with a very simple definition of character. Uh, character is what you do when you're by yourself when no one's looking. Remember that what you do when you're by yourself and no one's looking. Why is that important? Character, why is it important today? It has always been important in our nation's 236 year history. From the time that we started at our Army's 236 year history, from the time that the first shot was fired um, at Lexington uh, to today, what has changed is, as we see today, under a 24-hour news cycle and unblinking eye of the media, 
the issue associated and the issues associated with lapses of character that have immediate and important and long-lasting strategic implications can happen just like that. Character matters. You are leaders of character, and that will hold you in great stead. Never surrender. Find the confidence. Um, I wanted to talk to you about confidence here for just a minute, uh, because you will be responsible for everything that your unit does or your unit fails to do. We frequently hear this issue of taking care of soldiers. We're talking about taking care of soldiers. What does taking care of soldiers mean? But as you stand in front of whatever formation you're going to command, and you're looking out at the people that are standing in formation, and their eyes are upon you, you ever wonder, maybe you should think about, what do they think as they look at you? I think that I can tell you. They're not thinking that they want to be your friend, because they're not thinking that. They are thinking, does he or she know their profession? Does he or she know their job? And why are they thinking? Well, because like with Ross McGinnis, like with Jim Richardson, like with Jeff, Jeff Dorco's folks, like with whatever happens around the world every day, we lead young men and women into harm's way. That's what the Army does. They want to know that whenever they go into harm's way with you in the lead, that you know your job, so you're not going to place on them at undue risk, but most importantly, you give them the best opportunity and the best chance to accomplish the mission. I will always place mission first. Okay? Thanks. Of the United States, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office, discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter, upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. 